Hello everyone, this is King Factor 11. Welcome to my latest weekly update news video of October 24, 2024, where I explain to you the past week's news of Rockstar related topics. Of course, if you'd like to check out my latest weekly update content video where I explain to you this week's weekly update in GTA Online as of October 24th for the rest of the week until October 30th, which is this upcoming Wednesday, you can check that video out. Link will be in the description below. You can even find my Twitch in the description below as well for those who wants to leave a follow for when I do stream anytime sooner or later. Anyways, uh, before I get into any news, first of all, what's new to me in GTA Online? First of all, modding is back on PC which I've already made a video on very recently, maybe a day ago actually, and I would definitely like to blame Take 2 on this behalf for not doing anything to try and take down stand mod menu, but will do anything else on other mod menus such as the EM menu for holding illegal code. They're not going to do anything against modding. That's quite a shame even though it's kind of common sense to realize that the only way for mod menus to work is by reverse engineering GTA 5 codes and possibly even obtaining codes possibly even illegally to manipulate the game in its way as they want so thanks take two for taking care of that Another news, I have just recently gotten a patch on Steam for GTA 5, just like today actually, October 24th, and it made my game lag a lot more. In fact, it even crashed because it couldn't bear with the lag, it just straight up crashed itself to desktop. And I was in an invite-only lobby. It's never happened to me. So if anyone else has facing, been facing the same experience playing GTA Online on PC through that, well, I'm just letting you know, you're not the only one. Rockstar kind of broke the game a little more than how broken it already is. Anyways, another news going through Rockstar's Newswire and Twitter. Starting off with Rockstar's Newswire, they state haunted vehicles and supernatural creatures plague the streets of Los Santos. Plus, you can get double money in RP on free mode events and challenges, latest community challenge rewards, and more. Where they would like to state the Halloween inspired commotion in Los Santos is spreading. More mayhem is appearing around every corner with haunted vehicles and supernatural creatures now roaming the streets. Confront chaos and Halloween death matches, don more spooky masks, and boost your earnings in free mode events and challenges. Mind you, the Ludendorff Cemetery survival mode is no longer on double rewards as of this week. Plus, claim the purple, yellow, uh, purple glow and green glow skeleton onesies from the North Yankton Nightmare Community Challenge, and you can now create your own zombie encounters with undead additions to the GTA Online survival creator. Brace yourself for the seasonally strange occurrences to reach new heights as the UFO sighting stories give way to tales of full-blown extraterrestrial abduction. Explain one of the undead, your know, custom GTA Online's jobs as zombie pedestrians are now available in the survival creator to create your own wave-based horrors. Make sure to use the tag hashtag community series when publishing your jobs for the chance to be featured in a future community series. Now, moving into Twitter news, especially from Tez2, uh, it was stated at the beginning of last week, if you've previously obtained the UFO tattoo but have lost it, you don't have to contact Rockstar support, which he would like to state in the comments of that tweet where some have been messaging him if it could be faster. Rockstar would sometimes delay and say, yeah, but it's not available or they would say yeah but send us a file of your msn forward dx diag to investigate this issue or they'd be like you don't have it available to you or they're just going to make some bogus excuse and by the time they even respond to you the chances are all you got to do to even get this tattoo back faster than contacting uh, rockstar support is to basically continue drinking the Macbeth whiskey shot at your nightclub at your nightclub until you respawn on top of mount chiliad at which point the game should grant you the lost ufo tattoo and in response to this this is only for players who have unlocked the ufo tattoo prior to rockstar fixing the disappearance lost theirs and couldn't get rockstar support to verify they own said tattoo you could continue to contact rockstar support or do this and pray the rng works in your favor as fast as it possibly could on other news, specifically from NVIDIA, they have released a game-ready driver update in GeForce Experience, which I have seen actually very recently, and I've updated it, as I always do check for it, uh, for Red Dead Redemption 1 in time for its release next week, where they would definitely like to state Red Dead Redemption launching October 29th with DLSS 3 and Reflex. For the first time in its story legacy, John Marston's beloved journey can be experienced on PC in stunning new detail with both RDR and its iconic zombie horror companion story on the nightmare arriving on pc on october 29th 
The video DL says accelerates performance in LMA2, The Lake House, Industry Giant 4.0, No More Room in Hell 2, The Axis Unseen, and The Wayfinder. Another Red Dead Redemption 1 news, you can now preload Red Dead Redemption on Steam as well. For someone would definitely like to state on this behalf, Red Dead Redemption is now available for preloading on PC if you're on a Rockstar Games launcher. The preload size is 9GB. Thanks to GTA Forums member Coderdon for sharing it on the source linked right over there. And Rockstar Games would like to interrupt this message, stating to you the Purple Glow and Green Glow Skeleton onesies are available to claim for smashing the North Yankton Nightmare Community Challenge. Ooh. And now experiment with the undead in your own custom GTA line job as zombie pedestrians are in the survival creator. Let's go. Someone has even made a suggestion for those who were not able to put zombies in their new creator jobs. So this user has stated not finding the zombies in your GTA line survival creator. Head on over to survival configuration to wave configuration to select wave into advanced into squads configuration and then squad presets. Your waves will then spawn zombies, heavy or light. And that's all you gotta do. Anyways, Tez2 would definitely like to make a comment on this thing. Ludendorff Cemetery Survival was just the appetizer. Time for the main course. Insert doom music here. Dun, 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 dun. Anyways, um, <laughs> mayhem is spreading according to Rockstar Games with haunted vehicles and supernatural creatures now roaming the Los Santos streets. Plus, get the green flaming skull mask, double rewards on free mode events and challenges, Halloween death matches, and more. And apparently, it was drip fed by Rockstar that Ted's two would like to share coming next week as of October 31st, just in time for Halloween next week. You can log in next week to unlock the Dia de Muertos T red flaming skull mask. Halloween Spooky Tea, and Halloween Parachute Bag. Man, in his own tweet, he has showcased how Rockstar says this stuff is coming soon, as of October 31st, in which they would like to give the Dio de Muertos Tea and the Halloween Spooky Tea as of next week, as well as the Red Flaming Skull Mask, possibly a login reward, or a weekly challenge reward, for whatever the case may be, we will see next week. And, of course, the Halloween shoot bag. And that's all the news that I have for you. It really isn't that much, but I can't really force more information out of what is already provided. So it's mostly just more Red Dead Redemption news and the fact that you can now add zombies into your custom survival jobs. Hope you guys did find this video informative as best as I tried to make it. And if you did, wish to stay tuned for more content like this or my weekly update content videos for Utilize Weekly Update, where I do my best to give you all the information you may need or want to know. You can stay tuned for that. Like, subscribe, or you can even go the extra mile and share this with your friends. Or leave a comment to what you liked or disliked about the information you've received. And that's all I have to showcase to you. Thank you guys for watching, and have a good day.